All right, while you may be used to the hot and muggy days along the coast, experts say even warmer days are ahead. Alex Littlehales has more on what is contributing to the rise in temperatures. The warm and humid air carries the sound of church bells across downtown Portsmouth. I think there's a couple ways we can come at this. It's the kind of summer afternoon that, from what Eric Seymour observes from Noah's Wakefield office, is more common in the Tidewater. Most of those records have been set in the last 10 to 15 years. Of the 10 hottest recorded Julys based on average temperature, Seymour says five of them are recorded after 2010, a sign that the Tidewater and its residents experienced record temperatures on a more regular basis over the last decade plus. And another thing to keep in mind is that the temperatures recorded through NOAA are done in a shaded area, the Norfolk International Airport. So if it feels hot or simply just walking around, Seymour says it's probably because it is. Daytime temperature may be a little bit warmer. We've seen that bigger increase actually in the overnight lows. The average rate of temperature change for the Tidewater region is an increase of one and a half degrees Fahrenheit over a 100 year period. It's a number Seymour says might not sound like a lot, but he reminds people these are only average temperatures, which are the product of a changing environment around us. So much concrete, there's so much roadway, and those things are great absorbers of heat. In Portsmouth, I'm Alex Little for 13 News Now. According to the EPA, eight of the top 10 warmest years on record have occurred since 1998.